Decoding Linear Regression, a Python Approach Linear regression is a supervised machine learning algorithm that learns to predict a continuous target variable based on a set of input features. It is one of the most popular and widely used machine learning algorithms due to its simplicity and interpretability. Linear Regression Model The linear regression model is a linear equation which is y equals sign mx plus b where y is the target variable to be predicted, x is the input feature, m is the slope of the line, b is the y-intercept. The slope of the line represents the change in the target variable for a unit change in the input feature. The y-intercept represents the value of the target variable when the input feature is equal to zero. Linear Regression in Python To implement linear regression in Python, we can use the linear regression class from the sklearn.linear model module. This is Python program and output, decoding the linear regression model. Once the linear regression model has been trained, we can use it to decode the relationship between the input feature and the target variable. One way to decode the model is to plot the fitted line against the data. This will give us a visual representation of the relationship between the input feature and the target variable. This is Python program and plotted a fitted line against the data. Another way to decode the model is to look at the slope and y-intercept of the fitted line. The slope of the line represents the change in the target variable for a unit change in the input feature. The y-intercept represents the value of the target variable when the input feature is equal to zero. This is Python program and output, slope, 5.0 y-intercept, 5.0. In this example, the slope of the fitted line is 5. This means that for every unit increase in the input feature, the target variable is expected to increase by 5 units. The y-intercept of the fitted line is 5. This means that when the input feature is equal to zero, the target variable is expected to be equal to five. Linear regression is a powerful machine learning algorithm that can be used to predict continuous target variables based on a set of input features. It is a simple and interpretable algorithm, making it a popular choice for many machine learning tasks. By understanding how to decode the linear regression model, we can gain insights into the relationship between the input features and the target variable. This information can be used to make better predictions and decisions. Now you might ask, what exactly is this linear regression? Well, let's unravel the mystery. Linear regression in its simplest form is a statistical method that allows us to predict a dependent variable based on the values of one or more independent variables. It's like being a fortune teller with a crystal ball, but instead of vague visions, you have concrete data to guide your predictions. Imagine you're trying to predict the price of a house based on its size. Here, the house price is your dependent variable, while the size of the house is your independent variable. Now this relationship between the house's size and its price can be expressed through an equation of a straight line, often written as y equals mx plus c. In this equation, y is our dependent variable, the house price we want to predict. x is our independent variable, the size of the house. The M stands for the slope of the line, which represents how much Y changes for each unit change in X. This slope is essentially the relationship between the size of the house and its price. And then, we have C, the Y-intercept. This is where our prediction line crosses the Y-axis when X equals zero. Now, you might wonder why a straight line? Well, that's the beauty of linear regression. It simplifies the complex world into a straight line, making it easier for us to understand and predict. It's like drawing a line of best fit through a scatter plot of data points. This line is our prediction model, a simplified representation of reality. So when we talk about linear regression, we're talking about finding the best straight line that represents our data and allows us to make predictions. It's a powerful tool that helps us look into the future based on the patterns we see in the present. In essence, linear regression, with its simple equation, enables us to predict outcomes and examine relationships between variables. But how does linear regression work in a more complex scenario with multiple independent variables? Well, let's dive into that question. You see, linear regression doesn't limit us to one independent variable. We can have several. This is what we call multiple linear regression. The magic of linear regression still works, just with a bit more complexity. Remember our simple linear regression equation, y equals mx plus c? Now think of it as a recipe. When we add more ingredients or independent variables, the recipe or equation expands. But the core concept, it remains the same. 
our goal is still to find the best fitting line, or as we call it in the land of multiple variables, the best fitting hyperplane. Let's break it down. In a multiple linear regression, our equation becomes y equals a plus b1x2, and so on, all the way up to bn asterisk xn. The a is the y-intercept, where our line or hyperplane crosses the y-axis. The b's are the coefficients, which tell us how much y changes with a one-unit change in the respective x's, and those x's, there are independent variables. By adjusting the coefficients b, we can change the shape of our hyperplane to best fit our data, and by best fit, we mean minimizing the difference between the predicted and actual y values, the residuals. We use a method called least squares to do this. So imagine you're in a multi-dimensional space. Each dimension represents one independent variable. Now visualize a cloud of data points in this space. Your task? To find the flat surface, the hyperplane, that best fits through this cloud of points. That's multiple linear regression in action. But remember, while the equation may become more complex with more variables, the goal remains unchanged. It's like baking a cake. Whether you're adding two ingredients or ten, you're still aiming for a delicious result. No matter the number of variables, linear regression always seeks the best fit to predict the outcome. You might be curious what constitutes this best fit we keep talking about. Well, the magic behind the fitting of this line rests upon a few key components. Let's start with the residuals. Residuals are simply the differences between the actual and predicted values in your dataset. Imagine them as the vertical distances from the data points to the line of best fit. They're the errors we aim to minimize in linear regression. Next, we have the least square method. This fancy term is just a mathematical way to find the best fit line that minimizes the sum of these residuals squared. Why squared? Because it deals with both positive and negative errors uniformly, ensuring we're not underestimating the total error. Then there's the coefficient of determination, commonly known as the r-squared value. This is a statistical measure that tells us how well our line fits the data. It ranges from 0 to 1, where 1 indicates a perfect fit. So the closer the r-squared value is to 1, the better our model is at predicting the data. Now let's talk about the assumptions of linear regression. There are four main assumptions. One, the relationship between the variables is linear. Two, the residuals are normally distributed. Three, there is constant variance of the residuals, which is also known as homoskedasticity. And four, there's no autocorrelation in the residuals. Each of these components plays a vital role in the workings of linear regression. They help us understand the relationship between our variables, assess the accuracy of our model, and ensure the validity of our results. Remember, the purpose of linear regression is not just to draw a line that best fits our data, but to understand the underlying relationship, predict future values, and ultimately, make informed decisions based on these predictions. These components together help us understand and evaluate the performance of our linear regression model. So, what have we learned about linear regression today? We've embarked on a journey delving into the heart of data science and discovering the pivotal role played by linear regression. This technique is not just a mathematical concept, but a key tool in predicting and understanding data trends, making it an essential part of a data scientist's toolkit. Let's recall the essence of linear regression. It's a statistical approach that models the relationship between two variables. One of these variables is referred to as the predictor or independent variable, while the other is the response or dependent variable. The beauty of linear regression lies in its simplicity and interpretability, allowing us to make predictions based on this relationship. We then expanded our horizon by exploring multiple linear regression, where we venture beyond just two variables. In this scenario, we have multiple predictors that influence our response variable, allowing us to create a more comprehensive model of a complex reality. But linear regression isn't a magic wand. It's a tool that requires understanding and careful handling. That's where the key components come into play, the slope and the intercept. The slope gives us the rate at which our dependent variable changes for each unit change in our independent variable. The intercept, on the other hand, gives us the value of the dependent variable when all independent variables are zero. These two components are the foundation upon which our linear regression model stands. So, there you have it. We've journeyed through the landscape of linear regression, understanding its importance in data science, its basic concept, its expansion to multiple variables, 
and its key components. It's a lot to take in, but remember in the world of data science, every piece of knowledge is a stepping stone to greater understanding. With this understanding of linear regression, you are now better equipped to dive deeper into the world of data science. Remember, every great journey begins with a single step, and you've just taken yours in understanding linear regression.